still use it anyway. Oh, the camera's on, don't you? That, that was showing off. I was trying to come away, I was going to do it in there, but you weren't in there, so I came away. <laughs> Pete, does it, does it feel a bit like old times now? With all you lot for us, Brian, yes, definitely. No, it, it's obviously, it's, the atmosphere is there because I've obviously been so close to promotion. Did, does it affect you the way it used to all those years ago? I mean, do, do you feel more relaxed it about it now? So much. I find it sort of relaxing. I think a lot of lads, although pressures might be on them, I think you'll find that they do feel a lot more relaxed than people sort of give them credit for. Yes. It's the likes of us that put the pressure on you, I suppose. I think so. I think you're sort of not doing the normal thing which you're doing weekly because obviously there are more people around, the cameras are around, and this is what makes you think that it's that much more important a game. Who are you two doing? Yeah. Meanwhile, Chelsea manager Eddie McCready, with the use of a blackboard, Still plotting the downfall of Sheffield United. Steve Wicks is the blonde-haired defender, but his back to you, number nine, is Steve Finiston. Yeah. Butch. Butch. Yeah, sir. Just a minute. And he calls in his skipper, Ray Wilkins. You send the next two there, like, I'll put a chip in that big kid, you know. Yes. Jordan will look another goes for it. They run the ball, you know. Stevie might make a run for us, you understand? Yeah. He'll keep a couple with you. Because he'll be looking for you, yeah. you understand? So if you go first, you know, just a little bit, and Joe, you come in at the back of him. We're getting there too early anyway, don't we? Yeah, well, I think you're saying we're getting there too early, but I think we're too far down there to start Now the clock has moved on to 24 minutes to three, 24 minutes to the kickoff. It's a good time for you to come into the side, isn't it? Yeah, six games left, yeah. It's, uh, as long as we win today, get in two points. Score a goal one these days. <laughs> as he said, I'll score a goal one these days. You got one yet, have you? No, not yet. Do one. I hope it's uh, today. See you in yeah, now the linesman comes in, of course, with ten minutes or so to go to kick off to inspect the studs. The Chelsea chairman, Brian Mears, is already there to uh, send his good wishes there to all the players. Talk with uh, skipper Ray Wilkins again. But now it's the time for the last minute reminders, the last minute geeing up by manager Eddie McCready to his championship chasing side. In particular they're offside. The times have come all the way up to the halfway line. Most of times. You've done a little bit during the week with Ron. So that means that the guys at the back, Johnny Sparrow, you understand? Gary Locke, midfield people, get over there, you understand? As soon as they come out, I want an early ball in there, you understand? If it's on, an early ball, we won't be running from deep. So it's important you three guys, Ian, Jock, Tommy Langley, get your bums out of there, you understand? As soon as they move breaks down and you've seen them up, Get out of there, don't be caught out, okay? And I want people running in there, understand? We will cash in a little bit now. So I've got nothing else to say to you except to go and re hold on. Relax, Let you relax, okay? Do your stuff, push it about, and you'll get a victory, okay?